Hi all. For tomorrow's class, we will be going over the human eye, which is very similar to uh, lenses that we have gone over, but has a pedological difference. So usually what we were doing is we were saying there's an object, some lens, and then it would form some image. And we were saying that this object O and this image distance i were what could change because f was constant. So for a given f and a given o, so if we had 1 over f thin lens equation, if we have a constant focal length and some object distance, then that sets the image distance. But this is slightly different than in the eye. So in the eye, we can think of this area right here as being just a convex lens. And over here, so this is the image distance here. And we want the image to form on the retina or the fova centralis. That's the most sensitive part. So this image distance is fixed. So what we're having instead, um, so instead of having a constant focal length, what we have is 1 over f equals 1 over o plus 1 over i. And this i is a constant. So whatever you're looking at, that's the object, is going to be some distance away. So the only way that we can get this equality to hold by changing the focal length. So what your eye does is it uses these ciliary muscles to compress and stretch this lens to adjust the focal length so that an image is formed at this fixed distance i. So we want to look at how one can go about doing that. So what we need to do is use the thin lens equation. So we will have some convex lens. We're going to draw it asymmetrically just for uh, completeness. And what we'll do is we'll say that this lens has two radii of curvature. So this should have been rounder, but this forms a radius here, so let's have this be a little bit more believable. So let's say this is R1. So this radius is the one that describes the circle here. And then there's a different radius over here that describes R2. So these are the two radii, and then this lens has an index of refraction n. The index of refraction n is just the ratio of the velocity of light in the medium. So this is going to be glass, water, something, to that of vacuum. So this number has to be, uh, oh, sorry, I wrote that backwards, it's the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in the medium. So this number is either equal to 1 or greater than 1. So it, its values range between 1 and usually for glass 1.5, uh, water based things are around 1.3. Uh, so what that means is that this velocity in the medium is slower. And then the lens maker equation relates the focal length of this object to the index of refraction of the object. So that's n minus 1 times 1 over the radius 1 minus 1 over the second radius. So what we need to do 
is we need to uh, remember when these radii are defined as positive and when they're defined as negative. So this radius here is defined as positive if it creates a convex shape. And this radii over here is defined as positive if, if it uh, defines a concave shape. So the so a lens that would have two positive radii of curvature would look like that. Um, so uh, in the case of what I've drawn here for a convex lens, the second radius of curvature over here would end up being uh, negative. So this would be the sum of these two. And if this was the, uh, the case of a concave lens, then this radii would be negative, and then it would end up with a negative focal length. So the way that you read this equation is that the index of refraction and the radii of curvature set what the focal length will be. So what your eye does is it changes the radius of curvature of, by, of the lens by compressing it or stretching it because the, the fluid and the uh, membranes more or less have a constant n uh, depending on how they're stretched or compressed. All right, thank you very much.